Honey Sticky Piston here back with another video. Now today we are going to be playing Minecraft Beta 1.8 as you can see right there. Now I'm actually going to be doing this on my HP Compact 6720S which you'll know about if you watch my second channel. Go subscribe to it. So anyways without any further ado let's hit play. Now, just some info about this computer. This computer has an Intel Centrino dual processor and 2 gigs of RAM. It's from 2008 and it came with Windows Vista Business Edition originally, but I have it running Windows 8.1 over here. So anyways, let me just cut to when this is finished loading. Okay, so it is loaded up here and we are going to hit single player and we're going to create a new world. Let's call this YT vid and game mode. Let's hit it a creative. Why not? Generate structures on and see. Let's just type in something fi <laughs> something fine, something random. So... Eight, one, five, three, four, two, six, one, three, four, eight, eight, six. Why not? Just a random number and create. So we're just gonna wait for this to load. And actually, just minimize the launcher there. So invert mouse is off. Because why would I want that graphics fast? Just note my render distance is set to tiny because yeah, two gigs of RAM and Minecraft is not the best. So you can see we can walk around here and it's quite laggy. Uh, that's just my computer. You can see there's a chicken here. Let's actually see how much frames per second are we getting. So let's hit F3 and not 12 FPS. 12 FPS, okay. So let's just like fly around a bit. It looks like we're in a swamp of sorts. So let's hit, oops, not escape. Let's hit E to go to our inventory. And see, so we have wooden slabs. We have just wood. We have diamonds, gold, iron, and bedrock here. Wait, look at this. I don't know if you can see. The text is underneath the scroll bar, which is kind of funny. So let's actually do some redstone because, well, this is a redstone channel. So let me just get rid of all these items. There's no shift click to remove blocks. So I have to click a block and then click it over here to remove it. So let's just... <laughs> do this and we can go get our redstone so we first need some wool to do our redstone on uh, let's see is there like a level or anything here yes there is let's find a uh, redstone torch let's make a standard like flush piston door we need our redstone dust obviously there's no search, so I literally just have to scroll around and hope I find everything. Repeaters, and then we need sticky pistons, which I think are near the top of the list there. Sticky pistons right there. And then uh, let's grab some iron blocks for the door itself. So let's just go down here and actually build the door. So... If you don't know how to build a 2x2 two two seamless flush, or not seamless, just a flush piston door, Minecraft Java edition, this is what you do. So start out with a single piston like so, place like a 2x2 two two square and then turn to the side like so, place this, and then iron blocks like so, then we just fly up real quick. And this is laggy. It's gonna move to the right. I hate how in Java Edition when you fly and you like let go of the button, you start like floating in that direction, even though you let go of the button. I just find it quite annoying. 
So, on Bedrock Edition, if you're making a flush door like this, you normally set the repeater to like four ticks, I think. But on Java Edition, you actually only need two ticks. So, just gonna. Is that so sorry if you can't really see that well? It's because this laptop screen is quite terrible. So, you're gonna go down here. Oh, actually, let me see. Now I have no like flash options. Let me actually just turn that on quick. Okay, so I just turned on my flash options and hopefully this looks a lot better. And I just threw my redstone on the ground. Oh, great. And just find that real quick. So if we place our lever and flick it. Oh, great. I forgot about... I hate quasi-connectivity. Like, it's useful. Sometimes, but it's also extremely annoying other times. So, I, so what we have to do is actually move the lever. So, let's just place the dust here and move the lever to the top here. So, it can't actually connect to the piston. And it's... Oh! That's because of that. Oops, then how do you... How do you even make a two by two flush door? Oh, I guess you can just like move this up here, I guess. So I'm just gonna place the dust there. Oh, I guess you need to set it to three ticks in this old version. Right now, four ticks? Oh, I get it. Because when the pi the pistons extend, but I left clicked. The pistons extend perfectly fine. Oh wait, don't these update? Pistons don't update other pistons in this version. That's weird. Oh, but then also that that won't work. Let me fix that. How would you build one of these doors then? Let's just go ahead and update these pistons. Oops, I need to sneeze. And now I can't sneeze, that's so annoying. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So, let's just... Yeah, I keep feeling like, feeling like I need to sneeze, but then I can't actually sneeze. Why is it happening now? So let's just unflick this. And then now it works. Uh, I guess what we can do then is just like set up a quick little redstone clock. And there's actually redstone dust there, but for some reason it doesn't show up on camera. Just place this down. Can kind of see it. I mean, not really. But let's see if we can... If I can build a redstone clock in this version. I don't even think there's blocks of redstone. Like, there's not even comparators, so you can't even do that. And what happened to that block? Oh, I turned off smooth lighting, so it looks kind of weird. Oh, there's a vine there. Oh, great. Okay, and now we need ourselves a redstone torch. So let's grab that and play. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> At least now they update, I guess. Actually. What? Okay, so, we, so, so we're not making this door, because clearly it's not working. Just destroy all of this. That didn't work. And there's no super flat option that I could see, so we just stuck with this one. I guess we can just make a normal 2x2 two two door, I guess. Because, I mean, we have nothing better to do. Because even a flush 2x2 two two doesn't work. 
so let's just like literally do a simple two by two door. Wait, what? The redstone looks like it's directing into the lever when the lever is on the wall and not even close to that redstone. That's weird. Now when we need a <laughs> redstone clock to update the piston for some weird reason because pistons can't update other pistons in this version which is super weird. So let's just place dust there. Well actually we don't even need dust over there. It's just, oops. Let's just quickly make a redstone clock. Let me just like, actually I think we should make these repeaters facing the other way. So yeah, let me do that real quick. Okay, and now we just, oops. And now we just place it, uh, oops, not the lever. And now we just place in our torch. And, and we just, I guess we can just, okay, there we go, my game. Uh, yeah, 8 FPS. That's what I expected <laughs> from this redstone clock running, but hey, at least we got a 2x2 two two piston door or 1x2 piston door working. So let's actually, let's get out of this world. Maybe make another world and look at all the blocks because that world is super laggy. We actually have another world. Let me just go into this world creatively named New World. Okay, that was actually quite quick. Wait, what? This, is the, this looks the same. Oh, you know what? Because this is the demo world. This is the demo world because I don't actually own Minecraft Java Edition. I just am forced to play the demo. But for some reason, you can play creative mode in beta 1.8 even if you <laughs> only have the demo edition. But I mean, I guess it's kind of... Uh, wait, what? I guess because, I mean, like, this thing from, like, 2010, this version of Minecraft. Let's actually see what we have. Oh! Do you guys still remember when you only had red beds and you didn't have like other kinds of beds, just red ones? See, literally we could go play ender pearls. I didn't know ender pearls was it, were in this version. Let's actually put those down. I want to test those out. Never seen ender pearls in this version before. Let's get out of this. And actually, I think I should maybe make the window itself a bit bigger so you guys can maybe see it better on the camera oops let's see make this a bit bigger okay so let's place down this bed and can i like i'm trying to hit like t is there no chat i'm pressing t right now I'm slash maybe or i normally have my chat key binded to c it looks like there's no chat, and yeah, we can only sleep at night. You can just like spam the chat with it. And now let's actually test out these ender pearls. It looks like they don't do anything. So yeah, that's basically about it for beta 1.8. Let's actually look at one more block. I'll just move this camera closer so you can see the item selection screen. Now there is this like weird circle here in the middle from like my phone's flash i guess you can see behind here is the cactus and see this is literally all that we have let's so maybe move this a bit closer you can see we have sponge we have a jukebox we have dispensers furnace we have the rails there's some torch here we have one type of button and we have swords here oh here's the old this is the old leather armor so let me actually grab these oops i want to actually try these on 
Let's just get out of this. And can we right click to put it on? No. We can't right click to put it on. But let's see. No, there's no front camera view. There's only a back camera view. So you can't do like your intro. <laughs> that some YouTubers do with like just crouch a bunch of times. So I'm placing caps lock. So anyways, guys, that is about it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what you think I should do next. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.